I feel like last night we didn't get a chance to do the um no one called in because I didn't feel like um I didn't feel like you know calling people in to ask questions but I think we should continue what we was doing last night which is people asking me for some um advice and me like playing the therapist role because you know the people who usually don't have their lives together are the people that wants to, you know, be therapists. So, that's me. Um, what was I going to say? Who do my lashes? Um, what's her name? She's, I think it's the Candy Experience. Who do, does my makeup? I don't have a make. well... I only got a little concealer right now. That's it. But um, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I'm just on here. Really, really, I'm on here to promote my song. That's really why I'm here. If look, look, while all y'all here, have you guys heard? Let's talk about it yet. If so, what's your favorite line? Like, what's the hardest line? Do you have a vocal coach? I actually do. I haven't been to her a uh, while, Mama Jan. I ain't been to her in a long time. But let's get some callers, y'all. Um, oh, I need to get my nails done. Because, y'all, these, like, believe it or not, this is, like, bending. But what's your favorite lines? I would like to know. I put a question in. Oh, shoot. Wait a minute. I can just do questions. Hold on. Um... Do you have any advice for her? Let me look at these questions. Hi, Queen. I am a high school senior, and I'm thinking about moving in with my boyfriend after graduation. Do you have any advice for me on things that I should prepare for or how to be ready for that? Baby, I know from experience, okay? Straight out of high school, after I graduated, um, I never went to, I've never been to college, you guys, so, um, I went straight to American Idol. I didn't know what I wanted to pursue in college. I think, I think, like, I've always wanted to, well, I know I've always wanted to sing, but one of the things I probably would have done, sorry, I know this isn't answering your question right now, but. You see how I just get way off? Like, just answer the question, Queen. Um, I'm just tell you. I really didn't get to enjoy myself after I graduated high school. I I straight up had CJ. Like, I straight up got pregnant, had a baby. I got married. I moved in. You know, with my ex and um, who was already living together in my mom's house. But like. If that's what you really want to do, you know what I'm saying? If y'all love each other, can't nobody tell you to not do it. You're going to do it anyway. But just, like, just try to find some time to yourself. Um, you don't really know yourself yet. I'm still getting to know myself. I'm still really... It's hard to do it in a relationship and with kids to, like, really get to know yourself. It can be done. You can do it. But, like, I'm 27 and I'm still learning myself. You don't know everything. So, um... I would say just try to keep your own, don't like, try to keep your own identity or get to know your own identity. Um, if you want to do that, just don't get so swallowed up in, man, I can't tell, I don't know. I would just say, um, y'all need to wait. I'm going to be honest. Y'all need to wait. Y'all need to wait. Right after high school. Baby, I'm telling you, I know I, I know I've done it, so it's like you're gonna do what you want, but right after high school, baby, you gotta wait a little bit. You gotta wait. It's tough living with someone, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't just I've never I've never got a chance to ever do like an apartment or a place the way like like super duper girly because I've always like lived with a man or whatever. You can never really um there's nothing wrong with it, but it's just like just have some time to yourself. It's healthy. It's healthy. That way you don't have to play catch up afterwards. But I'm just saying 
I'm not trying to rain on your paper. Y'all could love each other and everything, but to, to move in together after high school, y'all must be madly, insanely in love. But baby, y'all young. I'm not going to say it can't work out, but I'm just going to say just just wait, you know. Um, Hold on. Let me look at these questions. Oh, my God, so many questions. Um, ooh. How do you learn to trust again after being betrayed by someone that was supposed to protect you? Mm. That's a hard one. It takes, it's like, learn, you can't like, to be honest, that person, it's their response. Once that person breaks your trust, it's their responsibility to gain your trust back. So you can't really, you can't learn nothing if they're not doing anything to gain your trust back. You can't learn anything. You got to let them do that. And then you have to like, um, it's tough. Like I can see if you, you were saying like, how do I learn to trust with someone else? But with the, to trust a person again, after like, you know, hurting you, whatever, that's hard, but it's their responsibility. It's not yours. So if you're going to have questions, you're going to have all types of reservations and stuff like that. If they want to get mad at you, um, they should understand. Hold on, let me look at these. Is our mind hi, our mind? Hey, brother. Um, but yeah, guard your heart with all diligence. That's what the Bible says. Hold on, one second. Do you, boo boo? <laughs> What's up, blue? Um, go some more questions. Prayer for. I, Prayer, forgiveness. I'm going to be honest. Forgiveness is very important, you guys. Let me just say this. I know it's hard for a lot of y'all to forgive. But all the stuff that we do, and God forgive us every single every single day, the stuff that we do like is not in his will a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, But he forgive us. So, so he, he tells us in his word to forgive other people. It doesn't mean that you have to be stupid and keep tolerating things, but to forgive. And you're not only forgiven for them, you're forgiven for yourself. You know what I'm saying? So that you don't walk around with that, that stuff in your heart, all of that stuff, that nasty stuff, that those grudges. And you got to forgive for you. It's hard to forgive you, but you got to pray for that. You don't have to, doesn't mean you have to tolerate stuff or, or um, you know, deal with it. You can learn how to love people accordingly, create boundaries, but you do have to forgive no matter what. You have to forgive. Um, you know, unforgiveness can make you sick physically. Did you know that? For real. It can make you sick physically if you don't. Um... Yeah, and consider a lesson learned. Hold on, y'all. I'm looking at some questions. So if I'm just looking at the camera, I'm sorry. Oh, wait. Sorry, I didn't mean to put that question up. Do I be nervous when on tour? Um, yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Um... This is a good question. Um, this is about me. I don't know why y'all asking about. Do you wish you wouldn't got married before having your second child? And this isn't meant to be shady. Um, to be honest, like, of course, you know, legend wasn't playing. Everyone knows that. I honestly thought that I uh, something was wrong with me, and I couldn't really have no more kids because of my terrible. Um, what's it called? I had a terrible. Why am I thinking the word malfunction? Oh, no, not I had a terrible um, miscarriage. And, like, it always took me a while to, like, get pregnant or whatever. So, I didn't think I could. I wouldn't say that um, I, re, I regret having kids before. Like, it's just um, because, I like, marriage is not, especially when you've been married before, like, it's not something to rush because I don't want another divorce. You don't want to just rush into that. Um, I'm grateful for my son. Everything happens for a reason. That's my little blessing. So, um, but I, I will say this. I, I'm slowing down. Like, I'm not about to just keep popping them out. Because, like, now is a time where I need to 
I need to really, you know, have some time for myself and to grow and to establish things and to, yeah, establish more businesses and, and you know, like just really enjoy myself. Um, I didn't rush into a baby. I hate when people say that. I didn't rush into a baby because it wasn't planned. I was just having sex and it happened. Like, you know what I'm saying? Stuff happens. Like, you slip up and stuff happens. It, it wasn't planned. So, when people be like, oh, you're not going to rush into marriage, but you're rushing into... You rushed to have a... I didn't rush to have a baby because, like, you know, it wasn't planned. But anywho, I didn't come on here for that. I came on here for, um, to answer y'all questions about you guys. Get out my business. Like I said, the people that don't really got it all together are the ones that, you know, likes to give advice. So that's what I'm doing. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, you guys, why are you asking me questions about me? I'm supposed to be giving advice to you guys. Dang, y'all so, y'all so gosh darn. Um... All right, yeah. Yeah, y'all, y'all asking me questions about me. I'm so sorry. Like, I just, I don't know why y'all do. I said I came on here to give y'all advice about you guys. Not you coming on here checking me on my stuff. You know what? <laughs> Y'all's a trip. Y'all are a trip. Um. Anyway. How about let's just switch it. Let's just switch it up. Um. What more would you like to, would you guys like to see like a challenge or something? But let's talk about it. Would you guys like to see um, other, would you guys like to be, be in a challenge where, it's tough though, because everybody can't sing or, um, sing or rap, but the people that can, would you guys like for me to put out the instrumental so that y'all could um, start doing a challenge? I want to hear what you guys have to say on the beat. You know what I'm saying? I think that's. I think that's super dope. I think I did that with um, Pack Light. Did I do that with anything else? Was it just Pack Light? I did a Pack Light challenge. I think it'll be dope because this beat is kind of dope, you know? So I think it'll be dope to hear you guys on here. Yes, please. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I get the instrumental. How can I go about booking? Um... What was that video with me? That was um, a lot of you guys. No, I just was not, I was not scratching my booty. That's my leg. So don't even go near. Anywho. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's the gum popping. <laughs> I know. Oh my God. Am I too loud? Am I too loud? Y'all, should I get some braids? I'm, I think I'm about to get some braids. I want the um, knotless braids with the little curls, but I don't know how long I'm going to get it yet. I want some braids. Yeah, it's time to put my hair away. Um, But yeah, what? Let me ask y'all a question. Um, If you've seen the Let's Talk About It video, did y'all hear that song at the end? And I was like, so you try to copy and paste me? You know, you never could erase me. So you try to copy and paste me. Um, would y'all like that song? Or would y'all prefer that I drop something else next? Because I really would like to um, keep dropping music or whatever before I drop my album. At least like one or two more songs. Nah, something else. 
What you trying to say? You ain't even hear it. Y'all want me to drop that or y'all want me to drop like a more of a soulful, sultry song? Like, do you guys want like a self-love song or do y'all want like another, you know, another, um, another like talk your ish song? Trying to be cute for too long, sitting like that, like it has a lot of um consequences. My leg, my leg hurts. Self love. Here's the thing. This is what I want to say. A lot of people be like, talk about something else. Talk about something else. You know, we tired of hearing songs about men and relationships and this and that. But every time somebody makes a song about another topic it gets slept on like heavy everybody like all the toxic stuff show the fit there's no fit i just got some lululemon leggings and a lot of people ask me to drop gospel i am gonna drop some gospel music y'all but it, it can't I can't play like that. Like, I can't play around like that. I'm not about to be dropping, like, a R and b song, like, talking stuff, and then drop a gospel song in the middle. It just, it has to be organized. Like, when I do that, it's going to be all that. I can't just, you know. It's going to be worth it, though. I promise you. I need your breakup songs. Please don't stop. So, look, comment right now. Breakup or self-love? Breakup or self-love? Which song you want next? Break up another breakup song or another or like a um a self worth self love song. Self love, self love. Okay, look at that. Look, break up. I can tell you toxic. Self love. But are you guys really gonna listen to it though? Cause like y'all don't be. Y'all don't beat me, I'm telling you. Breakup song. Hi, Papa. Wanna say hi to, the, to my... Look. Wanna say hi? Hi. You don't wanna... Do some... Snack puffs? Snack puffs? You want some more Cheetos? What about apples? You want your apples? You eat your apples? I love my stink. Um, let legend decide. Legend, which you want breakup or self love? Which one? Self love. <laughs> legend wants a self love song, yo. I gotta do my my baby say. I gotta do a, a self love song. That's what Legend said. So, Legend, no. He said, switch it up. He said, self love. <laughs> That's funny. Um. All right, y'all, I'm going to get off of here now. Make sure you guys go stream Let's Talk. What the heck? Go stream Let's Talk About It. Go keep watching the video. Go keep posting your stuff and repost it until we drop the next song. All right? All right.